you're quite a good fighter. You're a serious fighter. Yes. Uh, now, do you go to the gym and, and fight, or do you fight in the street? So you like the kind of guy that... Depends what happens, really. Okay. But, uh, no, I, uh, yeah, no, the thing is, you know, I worked on a, a, in a show once that kind of put me in a sphere that was... I mean, just put, I'd walk down the street, people would walk up to me and punch me in the head. Uh, I, you know, it, I work I, on that same kind of show. Yeah. <laughs> You're Conan, yeah. bam. No, I mean, that's you, things. let's explain what this meant. You were on a show called EastEnders. I was. And EastEnders, you played, on the show, you played a, a tough guy, a yeah. hard man. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people really took that as if that's who you really were. Do you is know what? Right? It, the thing is, when you play a TV tough guy, uh, and I, I don't know why I keep getting asked to play those jobs, but I do, is that you'll be out and someone will have two beers, and that's fine, but when they've had the third, they see the tough guy off the TV in the corner, and they're like, I can impress this girl. I'm gonna go and hit him. And they just do, uh, and it's really mean. So people would just walk up to you and hit you? Yeah, they'd walk up to me and hit me, or they'd throw stones at me when I was in the street, or I'd be having dinner with my parents, and they were either hurling insults or bread rolls. Okay. Yeah, it was a fun time. Of all the things, first of all, bread rolls, I could, I could handle that. Oh. <laughs> I can it, handle an incoming bread roll. Everyone gets hungry. Everything else sounds, sounds terrible. Yeah. So, but it, what's interesting is that because you were getting picked on, you decided to just retreat and play video games. I did, yeah. And that led you getting this amazing movie role, right? Well, in a very long-winded way, yeah. Yeah. No, this show made me a particular agoraphobe, but I, you know, I would, I wouldn't walk down the street, I would have a hat on and the thing up and I would just never look anybody in the eye. It really kind of made me afraid to, to, to see people and, and look at people. There is an ugly side to fame, yeah. uh, as such as it is, yeah. that uh, uh, didn't really appeal to me and that was when I did find World of Warcraft. And, uh, you started playing World of Warcraft I did. a lot. I did, I, I mean 18 hours a day just sat there in my pants ordering Chinese food and <laughs> using Coke cans from last week as ashtrays. It was really a glamorous. I didn't think you were going to say ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I could uh, go to the bathroom, or there's this Coke can. Yeah, yeah. well, the, the bathroom was sometimes. Yeah. It was delayed. Uh, there was a uh, there was a particular thing where this game suddenly became my life, and this game would slowly give me rewards, and it allowed me to talk to people and make friends on there who were judging me anonymously, not, not right. but for the content not of my ability. Not because of what they saw you do on TV exactly. or had any, yeah. Exactly, so I was able to like forge new relationships that didn't come with any preconceptions, and I was slowly given these rewards in game that, believe it or not, affected my confidence, gave me the boost, and, and before you know it, I, I was able to have a little bit of self-belief again, and you know, I credit World of Warcraft with saving my life. But the problem is, that once I'd reached that point, it was the two years after that where I just kind of got fat. And I did, I'd ca <laughs> kept on playing, and I put on about 50 pounds, and I was just, I mean, I was literally just belly out, <clears throat> like that like character. It's nice, you can put the controller right on the exactly. belly. That's what I like. Exactly, it's and I just right sit there. there like this. Uh, <laughs> and and it, was, it was, you know, I have a really wonderful life now. I have, I have the perfect girlfriend. I have, I, I'm doing a great movie that I love. I have a great TV show. I, I'm living in, in Los Angeles, it's, it's pretty great, but I've never been happier than when I was really fat and no one had any expectations of me and I was playing video games. Make sure you tell your girlfriend that. She's... <laughs> <laughs> this is great, but nothing beats the time I was alone and fat. She's backstage. She's oh, watching. good. No, she's... <laughs> she's, she's gone now. She's gone now. You can see her right there. She's on a boat yeah. leaving. Uh, <laughs> You play uh, Orgrim Doomhammer do. in, uh, in the Warcraft movie, and we have a picture of you uh, in the character here, and my God. Sexy. Uh, yeah, you did put on weight. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that is actually not me, that's a, a model of me. Ah. Um, I, there, I think, do you have the other shot of? I think of... we have another shot of you where maybe. That's you're... me. That's you. Very different. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, no, unfortunately, uh, I did put on about that much weight, but it didn't matter because the whole thing was motion capture. Right, so they do a uh, lot of, uh, there's some CGI stuff there's, in there. It's everything. all CGI, and I yeah. tell you, it was one of the best experiences of my life. We have to wrap this up because of time, but before we go, how would you go at me as a fighter? Now look at this, and you see, I have the reach. You, you do have, I the, have reach. the reach. I have a head that bobs around mocking you. Well, what, would, <laughs> what would be your approach? This face just looming, laughing my, at my you? My main fear is you probably have the largest head I've ever seen on a human being. <laughs> so I, 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 I could just go yeah, like, but it would either, come in like that. It would either have its own gravitational field, so I'd just, it would just deflect, <laughs> or, or I'd break a finger on it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's yeah. an intimidating I mean, premise. I can tell you fear me physically, and that's really all I wanted to get out of this interview. Uh,